Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to graph this given function using a method called five points method. Really super easy, a uh, step-by-step -step approach. Just see how we're gonna take care of that thing. So the very first thing I want you to look at our original given function and our standard form. See what we can compare with these ones over here. By just looking at uh, our standard form with our given function, we can see that A turns out to be how much? Compare and see. A equals to 4. B equals to how much? B equals to 1 over 3. C equals to pi. And finally, D equals to negative 2. So that is our very first step. So our next step is going to be find the amplitude Next, before we get started, I want to tell you on the right hand side, you can see all these formulas that we will be following to get the amplitude and so on. We have A equals to 4, B equals to 1 over 3, C equals to pi, and D equals to negative 2. Based on that one, our amplitude is going to be the absolute value of A, which is the absolute value of 4, which is same as 4. The period is going to be always 2 pi over the absolute value of b. So I want you to put down 2 pi divided by, I want you to put down 1 over 3. And you're going to see this thing 1 over 3 like this one. So once you take the reciprocal of this thing, that's going to simply become 6 pi. So our period is 6 pi. Now we want to find the increments. So increment is nothing more than the whatever period we got, which is 6 pi. I want you to divide by 4. That equals to how much? That turns out to be if you reduce or simplify, that's going to be 3 pi over 2 is our increment and next is midline midline is essentially y equals to d in our case over here y is how much d equals to how much negative 2 so that is going to be our midline and vertical shift is essentially the same thing how many units is going up or down so it's going two units down because negative 2 i'm going to put down two units down that's all you have to put and now we want to find the maximum and minimum i want you to put down whatever your y value which is negative two i want you to put down negative two over here again and then look at your amplitude which is how much four i want you to add four right up here and here you subtract four so your maximum negative 2 plus 4 is positive 2 is our maximum. Negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6 is going to be our minimum. Now we will find phase shift in a few seconds. Before we do that one, I want you to find the starting point of this graph. So starting point is just always remember whatever inside this parentheses, whatever this thing is, set always equal to zero. So I'm going to set down, set that thing x over 3 plus pi equal to what? Zero. And I want you to solve for x and see x turns out to be how much that turns out to be what negative what 3 pi so that is our starting point now look at this thing x equal whatever our starting point is this is essentially the same thing as our phase shift so that is going to be how much don't worry about the negative sign just put down 3 pi is our phase shift and negative means it's going to go which way? It's going to go left. That's all you have to do. 
And now our next step is we want to find uh, the five points. So first I want you to draw a number line like this one. Then I want you to do is I want you to put down five points. So on this number line. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So these are our five points. I want to make sure. The next thing what I want you to do is our starting point is this thing negative 3 pi, isn't it? And our increment is what? So negative 3 pi and our increment I want to tell you is 3 pi over 2. So that means our 3 pi. This number and these increment always make sure they must have the same denominator. Essentially why we are seeing that thing that's going to make your job a lot easier. So this negative 3 pi could be written as what? Negative 6 pi over 2. So that means now this starting point and these increments they have same denominator. So let me just go ahead and put down the first starting point is negative 6 pi over what? 2. And then our increment is what? 3 pi over 2. That means we keep adding this much to get to the next point. Negative 6 pi over 2 plus 3 pi over 2 is going to give you negative 3 pi over 2. Two. So that's going to be our next point. I want you to add 3 pi over 2. Increment means you keep adding up. So that's going to give you negative 3 pi over 2 plus 3 pi over 2 is going to give you 0. I want you to add 3 pi over 2. So that's going to give you 3 pi over 2. I want you to add 3 pi over 2 again. So that's going to give you 6 pi over 2. So these are our five points that have the value. The first one is what? Negative 6 pi over 2, then negative 3 pi over 2, then 0, 3 pi over 2, 6 pi over 2. Just keep in your mind. And now before we go any further, I want you to look at the right hand side there's a basic y equal to cosine of x function or the graph over here. This looks like this one, the cosine function. Look at the cosine function. It starts off, there are five points again. At the very first point, it has a maximum. Then at the next point, it has intercept. And on the Next step, it has a minimum value, then intercept again, and then maximum value. So these, I want you to just look at these one based on this thing. You figure out what is going to be at the very first point. This That means this is going to be our maximum. The second point is our intercept. And then we have our what? Minimum. And then we have an intercept at this point. And finally, at this one, we have a what? Maximum point. So that is our five point approach. And finally, we're going to sketch the graph based on these five points over here on X and Y axis over here. So before we do this thing, I want to make sure that this, I put down already these five points, negative 6 pi over 2, negative 3 pi over 2, 0, 3 pi over 2, and 6 pi over 2. And by the way, this is y equal to negative 2 equals to, this is our what? y equals to negative 2 is our what? Midline. Just keep in your mind. This is our midline. And now we're going to figure out what is our going to be a maximum and minimum value. So the maximum value was how much? x equals to, this is y equals to 2, isn't it? So this is our 
maximum value I'm going to put down this is I am going to put down this one is going to be this is our maximum value at y equals to how much 2 and y equal to negative 6 negative 6 is right up here negative 6 so this means what so this is going to be our what y equal to negative 6 is going to be our what minimum okay over here so we figured out our maximum is going to be a this line dotted line this is going to be our midline at y equals to negative 2 and our minimum is going to be y equals to negative 6. now before we get started look at these five points at negative 6 pi over 2 we have what over here this is our maximum value i want you to just put it down and then at this point by just looking at it over here just like a see that thing this is intercept and at this at zero it is gonna be what minimum isn't it and then this is at this point is gonna be intercept and at this point it is gonna be maximum based on that one now we're gonna go ahead and look at this thing so at this point negative 6 pi over 2 we have a maximum and the maximum value is right up here at maximum and then over here the next point is negative 3 pi over 2 this is gonna have a intercept which is intercept means it's gonna intersect intercept the midline and the midline is this one isn't it and then at uh, this uh, at zero over here the minimum is gonna be right up here you can see that thing this is our minimum line and then on this one over here this is going to be our intercept at the midline and finally at this point 6 pi over 2 this is going to be our maximum do you see that thing now the next step is we're gonna just simply go ahead and and connect these points and sketch the graph so let's go ahead and look at it it's going to look like this one over here see right now please bear with me once again i am not an artist just sketching the the best i could do right now based on the these points we've been given to us So pretty much uh, we got our this is our graph so right now over here so so that this is our sketch of the graph it is not a really perfect but at least you got the idea right now that's the whole so this is called the five point method to sketch a graph right now and once again this is keeps going on and on on this side and this keeps going on and on on this side so once again thanks for watching